Whoa, we drew Herald. Let's go. They get three of the Yordles, we get one Herald. Here we go. Is this a good three mana card? A 6-7 Overwhelm? That also has attack deal two to the Nexus and two to the blocker. Does that sound like, like a good card for three mana? And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ziggs Malphite. We're going to be playing a landmark mid-range deck with these two. Now, they, they both care about landmarks quite a bit, right? Ziggs wants us to destroy four al allied landmarks. Malphite wants us to summon 10 plus mana of landmarks. But they both kind of help in the same, like, for the same thing. Because Ziggs wants to be attacking. And Ziggs wants to be doing Nexus damage, right? So, like, Ziggs an aggressive champion. Malphite, while costing 7 mana, is also kind of an aggressive champion, too. Because when you have your leveled up Malphite, you are creating this unstoppable force stun all enemies that really helps you get attacks in and finish games out so it's a really good finishing champion so that they should work pretty well together now one thing that i then the other thing that i really like about them is with ziggs costing three malphite costing seven we don't have any like four and five mana champions that you usually see in these with your Zareth and your uh, talia you know kind of clogging up the mid game and so since we don't we have room to be able to play three copies of Herald of the Magus, and that doesn't like overlap with those other champions, right? It's not like the same part of the curve as Talia or anything like that. So we get to put this right in the middle. And Herald of the Magus is perfect for both Ziggs and Malphite. You know, love getting the plus two, plus two, and overwhelm on both champions. You know, you know, Malphite attacks for a ton, Ziggs attacks for a ton, giving them overwhelm and making them larger is awesome. So, um, you know, that's kind of like our, our three-pronged attack here, Herald buffing up both champions. Besides that, let's get a lot of landmarks in here, right? Like, we got to be doing that. So we're going to have, um, and, and we also want to be aggressive with Ziggs. So we're going to be having, like, these different units that also uh, help out with landmarks. Blue Sentinel, Bomber Twins, Rock Hopper, right? Endless Devout. These are all things that get to attack. Um, but then help out with our landmarks. We also have Chip being a one mana 3 3, being a good payoff for the landmarks. Uh, we got a little bit of removal with Ride of the Arcane. We got um, some more landmarks with Unraveled Earth, Desert Naturalist blowing stuff up, making a 5 4. And we have a very good interaction spell since we are Targon with Ground Slam uh, being you know, a great card against like Poppy. Uh, that works out, you know, that card works out really well there. Uh, last thing is one copy of. Risen Altar. I've been pretty impressed with Risen Altar uh, recently. We have ne Desert Naturalist, Ride of the Arcane to be able to blow it up, um, but just just one copy because you know it is expensive like Malphite. But if you are able to play it, blow it up, you get a big payoff. Seven six Overwhelm and Spell Shield. Let's go one copy of that. All right, that's our deck. Let's go. We got Sharima, Targon, Ziggs, Malphite. We're gonna go play five games in ranked. Okay, we got some Pirates and Bandal City with all the cheap, good Bandal City cards. Looks like some uh, Bilge Water to finish it out. We're going to go ahead and mulligan the Preservarium and just keep the twos. Um, basically, mulliganing the Preservarium because they're probably going to be like Puff Cap deck or a good amount of Puff Caps. So I'm kind of thinking there. All right, but I am going to pass and just keep spell mana uh, because I don't want Chip to die to um, Poison Dart. I think they're definitely like a Poison Dart style of deck. So now this next round, now that we play this, now we have our landmark, so Chip will be a 3-3 immediately. Uh, Mirai Warden, that card's good. So we can play one of the two, you know, we can play Chip as a 3-3 and then play one of these twos as well. Yep, we got to protect the Chip. Which, again, if, uh, I guess if I'm thinking they're going to be a Poison Dark deck. Maybe I shouldn't have led with Rock Hopper, but I wanted to lead with Rock Hopper to protect Chip. All right, two out of ten. Looking for trouble. It found you. Go 
I should just attack, open attack with the three ones. And misfortune is just making this hand look a lot better. pretty well. I haven't really gotten to leveling up this Malphite yet. He's lecturing Yordles. That is good. Good, good, good. We don't really need to... Add addition, get additional mana gems. Okay, so Malphite's at 7 out of 10. Yeah, that 3 5 stat line is pretty awesome. Um, you are 4 out of 4. Man, they have 3 copies? That card's kind of like our five drop, right? Our Magus. It's a Magus. Alright, at least we got rid of all of them. Magus would be like our best draw right now. Either that or a landmark that costs 3 plus mana. Wow. I don't agree with that at all. I think they should play their fleeting poison dart, give me 3 more puff caps. But I'm, I'm happy they didn't. Whoa, we drew Harold. Let's go. They get three of the Yordles, we get one Harold. Here we go. Is this a good three mana card? A 6 7 Overwhelm? That also has attack deal two to the Nexus and two to the Blocker. Does that sound like, like a good card for three mana? Good, only three out of five. Not leveled up yet. All right, we need a, th oh, landmark that costs two or less. We need a landmark that costs three or less. Do you get on that thing anyway? 
<laughs> Malphite too tough. Malphite too tough. All right, how about that? Dude, Malphite was huge. It was a, such a great blocker. It is a good day to be Malphite. That's a good victory, man. That deck looks good. Zoe Nami. All right, so they're gonna have their elusives. We're gonna send Blue Sentinel back because it may not just ever die. Like they, if I'm them, I'm, like I'm never blocking Blue Sentinel, so we're just gonna send that card back. I guess I could, yeah, you know, have the vulnerable to help out with Blue Sentinel, but still. I imagine they double trouble because that's the best card to play. Man, they're so lucky. We only got double trouble in one game out of our five. Watch me. I guess I just trade there. These are my streets. One for you and one for you. <laughs> my board. Echo. All right, cool. Nami's just kind of too good, you know? Like, if you have double trouble with Nami, this is just insane. It's even worth doing three damage to them. Okay, so I want I want the land, the sarcophagus to destroy with the desert natural list. I'm going to be playing the preservarium, though, because we need to find, like, ground slams. And so that's what I'm going to be looking for is Ground Slam. Alright, that's not the worst thing. <laughs> Deal 2 to a 9-7. I couldn't afford them to have a one mana spell. No, they did.
mean, Nami's been the, the problem the whole time here. It hasn't been Shelly. It's been Nami. Nami made that Zoe into 10 power. Very easily. Sever action. Okay. I think we can do okay in this matchup. I like Bomber Twins. Kind of like everything here. Yeah, I kind of like all this stuff, but I think I'm going to get rid of this. Like, this card's good against action, but not so good against Sivir and Ruin Runner with the Spell Shield. Um, maybe we can't keep Preservarium if we keep Unraveled Earth. Yeah, we probably can't keep both. Um, I'm kind of planning on Unraveled Earth because of their Spell Shield and stuff. We want to still try to be able to have some removal. Narwhal with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Narwhal. I appreciate you. Our very first sub of the day. Thanks for that support there, Narwhal. I appreciate that. Alright, one out of five. We got blockers, yes we do. We got blockers. How about you? The Desert Naturals can be nice. Even just blowing up these Preservarium so they don't draw extra cards. Blowing up the Warlord's Palace. Alright, Unamas for Herald. Assuming, like, all three of these get destroyed. Swipe it all. Steady now. Do I want to go... Naturalist destroy Preservarium. Basically, just means you know, like they you know they don't draw one card. Like if I if I choose to destroy the Warlord's Palace, they have to have like four sharp sights, that kind of stuff. They just play all four and then they level up action. And that's definitely possible. But that's not easy to have. And then I can, you know, just basically pass and they just kinda of waste all four. And I thought there was something good to see. Like this is not letting like Bright Steel Protect because like if they were playing as Bright Steel Protector, which is Probably their plan. That doesn't work. My is yep. Yours. Too bad. I guess we'll do this then. We do have. No, we don't? Wait. Yes, we do. Okay, yeah, we have two hourglass in here. Okay, that's what I was checking for ancient hourglass. Okay, if we did, and or how many ancient hourglass we had. Today. We make this place ready. Rob them blind. 
Watch your head. Obviously, their deck's filled with pump spells. Trying to block quick attack when they have pump spells, not a good idea. But I'm definitely okay with that, getting the pump spells out of their hand that way. Alright, so we got him down to two. Problem, of course, is the Sivir and the whole spell shield thing. It's obviously a big problem. But only we had Rudeness Path. Malphite would be an awesome card to draw, right? Like our, you know, the first game that we won, we had Malphite as a great blocker. Malphite would again be a great blocker. Awesome. They realized their Sivir was gonna die, and they were like, uh-oh. No Sivir, no win. Okay, yeah, so Ziggs was just an attack ability deal, too. So, like, they were, they were gonna have the attack token uh, next. Oh, the landmark! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were gonna take two from the allied landmark is destroyed at the round start. They are gonna take the two from the Ziggs. Oh, I forgot about that ability. Good call. All right, Draven, Scion. I want one of the other twos to block, but I like this. Let's, you know, we have all those different twos. I want one of them to block. Hmm. Not finding any of them yet. Hopefully we get one of them right now, but like all three of those other ones, Ziggs, Endless Devout, Ground Slam, we're all good. Oh, never mind. We drew our top end. I guess I could have mulliganed the Endless Devout or the Ziggs. I guess I should have mulliganed the Ziggs, I guess. Yeah, that hurt. Wow. That's a pretty decent curve out that they got going on right there. I'd have to say. Sure, why not? For the money Why not? Mommer twins. I need you before. If it was important, they should have built it better. Mm, 
I can use spinning axe and make the two one block. The five three. I'll just pass. Ground slam. You suck. I imagine they're gonna play an elusive to get rid of the roiling sands, but I'm I'm happy with that because those elusives are still difficult to deal with, so we're only at two out of four. Ground slam, ground slam, ground slam, ground slam. No. Whoa. They didn't have a. Uh, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? I probably already have like good enough blockers. Like Malphite's like my best blocker, but I probably already have good enough blockers. I think I can take a round off and play Ancient Preparations and Risen Altar. Ooh. Ooh. I guess Malphite's champion spell is ground slam, so, so I should probably take that. But hourglass on the Magus is pretty nice. But yeah, we should we should just take another Malphite with that champion spell. these landmarks count down for Harold. Wow. Oh man, what a... Wow. <laughs> that is not good for me. Um. But it's not that bad either. Why even make that challenge? Sometimes the plan gets back. Okay, so this round I get to play Double Herald and... And I have the Stun Everything card. So I guess I could have let this 2-2 die, but I, I wanted to play that Ground Slam. I wanted to use that mana. They've already played multiple Arachnoid Sentry. I'm hoping they're out of those. It's a good rummage. And I guess instead of Herald, I guess this card attacks her a lot more than Herald does, so we'll play you. Explosion. And then we're gonna Unstoppable Force. 
And we got all of our landmarks. There we go. Malphite. It is a good day Getting it done. Malphite. And now some pirate aggro. We're going to need our blockers right away. Let's get our blockers. These are not blockers. Ground Slam does have the ability to kill Misfortune. And so I kind of want to keep that. But we also need blockers. But I'm going to keep Ground Slam. Ground Slam's good to have to keep. All right, cool. Well, kind of cool. Kind of not so cool. Here comes the chip. Not so cool because this is only a 1-1. One, one. Not so cool. Saves three life right now. Down to eight. We'll make a nine. Man, talk about an aggressive start for them. Of the first four rounds, triple crack shot Corsair, double Legion Grenadier, and Misfortune. This is such a good combination, though, this Endless Devout Sarcophagus with Desert Naturalist. I'll drag you out of there if I have to. That is what allowed us to stabilize last game. For the Empire. Not sure if we'll be able to stabilize again, though, because they do have a lot of burn spells for the Nexus. But if they have all those burn spells for the Nexus and had that fast start, they win. You know, like, that's just kind of the game. Do have them down to five? I like seeing that because I can block that card. Yeah, I mean, if they have five points of burn, I'm dead. But if they don't... I'm thinking about going, like, Risen Altar this round, and the next round, like, Naturalist it and Ziggs, and, like, they're dead, but it, it's just, do they have five points of Nexus damage? Do I need to open attack instead? I just don't, I don't have a great open attack besides, I mean, that thing's fearsome, but... Please don't have five Nexus damage. Please don't, please don't. Just play, play more units. Go ahead. Get you, get you a good house spider in there or whatever. See? Perfect. Unit. If it was important, they should have built it better. Where there is a rock, there's a rock. Come on, just play more units. Gotta go with the oh, I just drawing a spell. I don't like that. So if they have two fervors, if they just drew fervor and that's also fervor, we lose. Um it's worth playing this, because that's the only way I lose. And so, like, I lose either way with that. So, gotta hope that's, like, make it rain, right? And then, like, if it does make it rain... Wow, it was exactly fervor and fervor. What are you gonna do? I think we played that correctly. They, they just had... And, you know, they just had it. Had it all. Alright, so we only went three and two. You know, because sometimes your opponents just have, have it all. 
uh, like we saw there. But I really liked this deck, and I really liked uh, what it had going for it. Malphite looked great. Malphite was a great blocker. Loved having Herald in the mid game with these. But then we didn't have to play a whole bunch of expensive cards with uh, having Herald. You know, sure we had the Malphite at the top end, but Ziggs is pretty cheap overall, and we got to play a lot of twos. Unfortunately, that last game against the pirate burn deck you know i just i didn't have like a, a good two to you know to go in there we, you know we didn't have a rock hopper bomber twins or blue sentinel on two but if we did that would have been awesome but i like having you know we get chip round one we get all these twos in here we have devout plus zigs we have a nice really low curve and then we have the power with herald of magus we had the power with malphite and desert naturalist was awesome blowing up the sarcophagus getting us like the five four and five three blown up risen altar that was pretty cool. Ground Slam is just incredible as well. You know, you get that spell. Ground Slam really saves you quite a bit. So overall, really awesome deck. Liked it quite a bit. So there we go. That's Ziggs Malphite. Um, yeah, I think this is a really good use of Malphite and of Ziggs. All right, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Another really good deck today. I, I do think all three of our decks were good today, but it's just... Playing in ranked games are really hard. You know, it's it. You don't see very many four one and five zero oh records as we saw because sometimes your opponents just have amazing hands. These last two decks in particular, Felios, Nami, Ziggs, Malphite, three of those four losses were just ridiculous hands from our opponent. Uh, th those were these have felt like decks that really could have had better records than three twos, but you know we sometimes just run into an insane hand. All right, but that's it for Ziggs, Malphite. So yeah, leave those comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all are enjoying it. If you've been looking for a Malphite deck or a Ziggs deck, give it a try and let me know. All right, but, uh, that's, yeah, so I already said that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I guess that's how we're going to close this out. Thank you very much for watching. I can't ever say that enough. Um, and I will see you for the next video.